or like uh, there was um, this like really poor kid in our kindergarten class and he he didn't have very much money and in the bathroom the, the teacher went to the bathroom at the same time and noticed that he was poor somehow um, and she was like here's five dollars go uh, chase your dreams and the kid dropped out of elementary school um, and that that kid ended up becoming um, George Washington <laughs> Welcome back. This is the first episode where I am actually driving. Now Will's driving. No, I'm driving. But it's still a Honda. Jonathan it's Honda is still, still a Honda. in attendance. We still have the ghost of Jonathan Honda. So, I have a few segments we need to run through. The yes. first is Song of the Day. Will, do you have a suggestion for the Song of the Day? Um... You know, I have a lot, uh, but if you have one, I would encourage you to go ahead, because I have okay. the last one. Um, so, my song of the day today uh, is Plantasia by Moore Garson. Of course. Love that song. It's a great song uh, from a great album, um, which is Tyrant named Man? the same thing. And probably up and over here. Um, so here's another segment we're doing. It's called Transit Tips. Will, do you have any tips for your car? I mean, you did the last one, so I can come up with one. Yeah. Um, when you are driving in cold slash snowy slash icy weather, and you are the type of person who tends to, uh, like, press on the brake, no, press on the brakes very quickly to try to stop, like, quickly without, I don't know, slowing down beforehand, uh, don't do that when it's cold. Because uh, your brakes won't work well, and you'll rear-end somebody at a stoplight. Now, that leads very well into um, another segment we do called Transit Mishaps. Mm. Now, Which... I know I know I did the last one, but I have a, a mishap that relates to braking too quickly. Ah, okay. Um... So once upon a time, we were leaving school before this podcast was a thing. And right now. Right now, we're, this is going to happen. I'm predicting it. But uh, we were leaving school, and I start to drive like I do. And I have a tendency to want to brake quickly. Not even, like, slam on the brakes. Just brake, like, faster than most people should or faster than recommended. Um, and we were stopping at a red light. And it was pretty snowy, and I had never driven in the snow before, somehow. I had gotten all the way there without ever driving in the snow or learning how to. And I did my normal thing, braked very quickly, and brakes didn't work. Brakes decided that, "Mm, we don't want to do the braking. Uh, because it was icy, and that's just how brakes end up working. Well, I do think the brakes in this case, I was there. um, He was in the car. I was on top of the car, so I saw everything. Mm-hmm. Um, the brakes did work. If if, um, if you hadn't pressed the brakes at all, I would have the slammed into them extremely hard. Yes, very hard. Because I I was going like 30, 35, and then I got all the way down to like two. Yeah. And then ended up like tapping the bumper of the car in front of us. Destroying your own license plate. No, I wouldn't say destroying. It was bent a little bit Mm -hmm. but uh we pulled into a parking lot and she clearly had never been in an accident neither had I but I wasn't freaking out it was a student it was a student from the same school we go to and she was like freaking out about it um oh I wouldn't say that but she was just like she's very panicky no she didn't handle it very well um so we looked at her car and when I, you know how when you record, when we record this podcast, you can't see us, right? It's yeah, the same yes. sort of situation with the damage to our car. <laughs> it wasn't there. You could not see it. Correct. We brushed off 
all the snow on the back. I think in all the places it could conceivably and not even well, conceivably be. Yeah, no, th that's the thing. I knew where it would be, and I did find it. And I did, like, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. It might have been about the size of like a little Lego dot, little bitty guys. Right. Like, it, n well, it was like. If I'm being generous, it was like the size, if you put your thumb on your iPhone's thumbprint scanner, like a dime. I mean, it, it, was it was small so enough. small. Yeah, it, it, and it was just like a, the paint. You know, it was the, like I had taken off a little paint. It wasn't even a dent. Yeah, there was no dent. It was just that I had take on, taken off a minuscule amount of paint. And like, she was freaking out. And I get it, right? It's an accident. It's scary. <laughs> and the thing was, she was like dusting off the rear no, yeah, she was if... she was dusting off the entire back of her car to see if my front bumper had like rammed through her back windshield or something. Yeah. Like, I don't know, but she like she was calling her mom too, and her mom definitely thought that the accident was like way worse than it was yeah, but because I mean, her her mom suggested accident is generous. It was, accident is like... generous. It, was it was an accidental thing, but I wouldn't consider it an accident. Because we didn't. Accident has connotations. Like accident has a connotation of like destruction of your car. But uh, she was, her mom was definitely under the impression that it was way worse than it actually was. Because her mom was like, "You have to call the police and get this on record." And um, it was a snowy day that no one had really been ready for. Like they hadn't prepped a lot for the roads, so the roads everywhere were like snowy and icy and like bad. Yes. And so we were like. We had we said when we were like waiting for the cop to show up like this is a waste of his time because what's he gonna do he's yeah, gonna yeah, come out well, and he's gonna look at it and say you okay. got back in the car and you're like she's calling the cops and I looked at you and I'm like listen man I'm telling you this cop's gonna be like this is a waste of my time why did you call right more important things to do right but she was calling the cops and I wasn't about to leave when the police were involved. Especially when she had my contact info. So I was like, okay, whatever. We waited, we waited, we waited. Cop shows out. He comes and he's like, all right, what's the situation? All right, you're under arrest. Yeah, he arrested me for killing somebody. <laughs> no, uh, he was like, what's the situation? We were like, uh, we had like a bit of an accident. Do you think? No. We had like a tidy accident. And he was like, okay, uh, can I see the damage? And he didn't exactly say that, but I'm paraphrasing. Um, and we, but we didn't show him anything because there wasn't anything. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember mean, watching him. Like I was sitting in Kyle's yeah. car, and he, like I could see on his face, he was like trying to like look like he was looking for it, you know. But I could tell deep down, he, he was just like, oh. Uh, God, why and am I here? He, he took both of our licenses and he goes back to He's his like, car. He's like, you're never getting these back. He goes back to his car and he says, you're you're never driving again. <laughs> but he he comes back out and he's like, okay, so uh, here are your licenses back. And he says to us, uh, what was it? Normally we don't come out for accidents unless there is like visible damage. Um, and I think the exact line he said was, Today, we're going to have much worse than this, and we have better things to be doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He ended up saying, I'm doing the absolute bare minimum for this, which is that we have to record when people call and we send someone out. Mm -hmm. I'm not filing a report because there's nothing to report. <laughs> and then that that was the whole thing. But then we were like testing the brakes to make sure it was just the snow, and it was. Yeah. But um, as we were about to leave, this man, fuck, this okay, this man drifted into the parking lot. Not even like he turned. No, he slid the whole way into the parking lot. He must have been like 35 feet. And the the look on his face was one of absolute. What? Acceptance. Yeah, I know. Like, like he what? looks like it was his grim duty to to uh, drift into this parking yes. lot. I I remember seeing him. I must not have got a really good look at him, but he just looked unfazed to like every degree, just like 
this is this is this is fine this is okay you know he just like i didn't even see his hands moving he was just like he's just like uh-huh this yeah. too shall pass he was just like this is this is fine this is normal um and then he regained control like i mean it was really like an enormous distance that he slid in and we were just like we all looked at each other and we were like okay so let's just be careful <laughs> And I think we drove, like, half of the speed limit the entire way home or something. Yeah. I have a new segment following up that one immediately. I'm kind of going back to episode one when we talked about... Or was it episode two, where we talked about eating lava? No, it was um, episode one. It was episode one. So, we talked about eating lava, and the information we got was from Quora. And I was like, we could get more stuff from Quora. Oh. So, um, I pulled uh, Quora from online... Yeah. And I would love to uh, talk to you about it and read one of the responses to it and then make our own responses. Yes. Because the question is, what is your review of Pizza Hut? What is my review of Pizza Hut? And uh, I will read the um, worst review I could find of Pizza Hut. Um, <laughs> I got a Pizza Hut order that was incredible burnt. I'm reading it as is, by the yes, way. Yes. Have attached the image below. Below is an image of a pizza that is pretty burnt. <laughs> it's see. not, like, charred. That is really burnt. It's not, like, all blackened, but it is not acceptable. It says, I guess you cannot complain for the price that they sell pizzas with a capital P and an apostrophe S, but I expected better. It's getting harder and harder to find quality food for a good price. And then the last line, which just sounds self-explanatory. If you want something organic, fresh, etc., you are going to have to pay for it. Because that's how that work. That's just how you are going to work. have to steal for it. You're going to have to kill for it. But all I can remember is that their pizza is okay. Um, I like the cheese crust, but otherwise, it's not anything special. I would agree that, um, with the Cora that I read that said that you, um, if you want something fresh, organic, etc., you are going to have to pay for it, um, in the way that it is meant, which is, you're gonna have to pay more for it. Yes. Because Pizza Hut, and really any pizza chain, is not fresh or organic, and if you think it is, you're a fool. You're an absolute buffoon. If this person went to Pizza Hut thinking, I'm going to get some some I mean, bell like, peppers that were picked from the ground yesterday, they're an idiot. They are. They are. I mean, what would they... What was their review even to do with organic stuff like that? I don't but know. Then, like, why wasn't my pizza organic? It was, it was also it burnt. It was burnt. My pizza was not organic. It was burnt. Those two are mutually exclusive. Exactly. Anyways, that was my Cora that I found this week. Um, that ends that segment. New one. Uh, it says here, worst impression of Jerry Seinfeld that can still be recognized as Jerry Seinfeld. Um. Do you know what Jerry Seinfeld sounds like? I know what he's, I mean, I don't, I don't have his voice memorized, but I, I know one of his bits at least, you know. <laughs> What's the deal? With um, cars, that was Jerry Seinfeld. This he says a, that after all his business. Jerry Seinfeld, if he smoked for eighty years. Ago. Okay. What's the deal with cigars? Why are they illegal? That Is this a dystopian future where cigars are illegal? Well, anything else, Kyle? Mm. Oh, that's the person that Kyle hit. There they are. Uh, no, I don't have much else to add. wonder if I could... Since this is probably going to end up in the middle of an episode, do you want to come up with a middle of episode transition? <laughs> that sounds good. I mean, we could just cough. Yeah. So here's Plantasia. Oh, you what? didn't want me to do it. I was doing no, the song. No, I don't want you to do it. You don't want I'm me gonna... to do it? No, I... All right, uh, we'll, we'll, show you. we'll see you after the song.
doing that and this is the game dumps we game, take dumps game chumps we poo all right i think i'm gonna cut all of that <laughs> all right this time the intro world we're, we're doing it mm. we're back hey welcome to transit talk and we are not yet rolling because of uh circumstances circumstances um you know it's it, it you really had to be there so we're just gonna leave it out i think yeah so we were gonna go but now we have not been able to go and... But that's okay. Yeah. Do you have any ghost stories? This is an awkward transition, but I was just thinking. Do you... Have you seen... Do you believe in ghosts, first of all? No. Alright, well, that ends the next question. So I was... watched this movie Ghostbusters, and that bum, was a bum, story. Bum, 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 <laughs> bum, 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 Can we talk about my uh, views on Ghostbusters? Yes. So... We have talked about Ghostbusters. It was one of, like, the first inside jokes that developed in our friend group. Really? Yeah. When Because we talked about Ghostbusters, because there was the Ghostbusters in 2016, and it, I guess, sparked the conversation again. And one of the things I said about Ghostbusters, I had a very snapshot thing, because I didn't remember much about it, was oh, that... Oh, I... Okay, this. Was yes, that, um, Sir Eddie Murphy... He's not a knight. I don't know why I said sir. But Eddie Murphy, the actor, I thought he played um, the... What's the Ghostbusters name? Hold on. The one that Ernie Hudson actually plays. Mm -hmm. I don't know the character's name. But that he played that Ghostbuster. I thought he had because I forgot. And then I kept up for a very long time the belief that it was, in fact, Eddie Murphy who played the character. I think at some point you either sent me a picture of the back of the movie box or showed me the movie box, and I denied it. I said, no, it was Eddie Murphy. The thing is, I don't... I mean, Eddie Murphy was probably born, but he probably wasn't older than, like, ten by the time the movie was... Like, that is not possible. It, no. Eddie Murphy is old. How old? Okay, yeah, I mean, he's old, but... How he old? was considered to play the role. I looked it up afterwards. Oh, really? Yeah, Eddie Murphy was considered to play the role. Eddie Murphy Ghostbusters. He was considered to play the role. I'm Googling it. That's why I said it very slowly. He's considered to play Reveals the role. why he turned down Ghostbusters. This he, could be a fun one to read. Wow, I really didn't... I thought he was, like... Younger. Most of us know by this point in time, original Ghostbusters co-writer Dan Aykroyd says he wrote the, star, uh, the film to star himself, John Belushi, and Eddie Murphy. Murphy well, okay, said... that explains why you, like, were so... Yes. Because it makes sense. Said on Jimmy <laughs> Fallon why he turned it down. Um... He said, I'm afraid of ghosts. He said, yes, but I did Beverly Hills Cop. What? <laughs> what? I, it wasn't like I turned it down in as much as I wasn't available because I was doing this <sighs> other movie. Oh, well, that's not very fun. That was the whole article, basically. <laughs> Wait, no, read the, the first line you just said. Okay. Uh, let me read the, uh, the um, quote intro they gave. Um, and the other night, Murphy told Jimmy Fallon why he turned the film down saying yes, but I did Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> That's, all, That's he all he said. So, you turned on Ghostbusters, right? Yes. yes but, but I, I did, did Beverly, Beverly Hills, Hills Cop, Cop, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, also, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but I very often will try to sing the Ghostbusters theme, but instead sing the bass line from the song or from oh what Michael Jackson song is it? Thriller. 
No. It's not thrill. Oh, it's um. Yes. Of course not thriller. It's. Is that bad? No, it's uh like, it's about Annie, but like. Oh. uh Yeah, criminal, smooth criminal. Smooth criminal. That's what it is. I will start to hum the bass line to smooth criminal enough that I've just kind of convinced myself that that is right. Just like how I convinced myself Eddie Murphy was in the movie. It's kind of like the Mandela effect. Except I was joking. Because you showed me it was Ernie Hudson. I was like, oh yeah, I guess it was. You know the Mandela effect? I do know the Mandela effect. I would swear on my life that no. the Berenstein Bears were existed, and not the Berenstain Bears. Stein. Yeah, yeah, it was spelled E I E I N, not A I N. You said Stein, Stein. I think it was Stein. What? Did, how do you think it was spelled? S T E Y E N. S T U N. Berenstein. The Bernstein Bear. B E R N. S T A N. Bernstein. They wrote a book about Australia. I'm just gonna cut that out. Why? They wrote a book about Australia. Just that. <laughs> just nothing else. <laughs> like no context. No, no other. Nothing else at all. They wrote a book about Australia. I'm gonna go Who's they? That. What book? What do you mean? Now I know why you blew your transmission. I did not. What was it that? Fake what news. was the problem with your car? Um, the axle broke. I, I think it probably was directly my fault. <laughs> but I'll never admit. Why is that? There's a store that we pass almost every day to and from school. Why that, is it? Why do we do that? Well, no, that's not the. <laughs> yes, it is. The, that that's not the point. point. The point. The point is that there's a, a store we pass every time. Yeah. And its title is simply clocks. No business name. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a no. storefront for Coldplay's uh, hit single, Clocks. What are you talking about? Will, do you have a song of the day? No. Is it Clocks by Coldplay? No. I have a song of the day. Are you, you know, ready? Uh, the, the Salvage Band one time played. Our middle school band once played what? Just go around them. Yeah. Our middle school bl- band once played... What song was it? The Star Spangled Banner. We did... We did, actually did that three times. Fake news. No, it's not. Whoop whoop. Fake news. Whoop. Uh, well, if it's not wah, wah, real, if it's not news. real news, it's. Wah, wah. Um. Yeah, there's uh, gotta be a better noise than that, right? Just play the whoop whoop noise but backwards. Can you do that? No. I, Can you? Do you have editing? Know. Do you have strong enough editing software for that? Do you have edit? No. Uh. Do you want to talk about our editing situation? It's very fast and loose. What do you mean? I mean, we, we're using your phone. And, the, and no software, basically. You said this out. Do you know what I do? No. Okay, then you then it's... No, do you I use do. Adobe? No, I use uh, Audacity, which is... Audacity. Ah. We should probably, like... Okay. Alright. Because I thought that you were just, like, cutting and chopping and screwing... The audio from your on my phone. iPhone. Yes, on your I iPhone. I'm it made sense to me. No, it didn't. To me, it did. Eat my phone. <laughs> I'm not. It's a. It's a, what's recording like us using your phone. Like a nom 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 in the microphone. <laughs> Don't eat my phone. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Cut that bit out. Not yet. I have Kyle. Cut that bit out. Will, cut that bit out. Cut that bit out. That was terrible. Cut that out. That was horrible. You're saying, like, cut it out like I can do it right now, man. <laughs> Will, go back in time and stop me from doing that. Okay? 
We have trachea accidents all the time. Can we call sickness trachea accidents? Welcome to Trachea Accidents. Welcome to, welcome to Transit Talk with our new segment, Trachea Accidents. What, what was... Make an accident with your trachea. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. <laughs> so I got a request to people who are listening, which there are uh, max 12. The most we have is 12 views. If you are watching this, uh, you should send in fan art. You should guess what we look like, first of all, based on what we sound like, which, um... It's gonna be two pictures I, of diapers. No, I don't... <laughs> I don't know about Will. Will doesn't really look like what he sounds like, but I definitely think my voice fits me. Yeah? What, 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 we need to draw a picture of my voice, Kyle. I'm gonna draw what I think you would look like based on your voice. Okay, you done yet? Yeah, I did it. Oh, that looks like me. <laughs> wow. That's just a picture of me, Kyle. Did you believe him? Gotcha, stupid. We just did a bit because um, we're, we're in a car. We don't have art supplies, you absolute buffoon. You baby That's one of my boy favorite words. Buffoon? Absolute, not buffoon, yeah. <laughs> buffoon is a great word. It's a great word. Because it's like saying a uh, curse word, but it's buffoon. It, it sounds like you're going to be way more mean than you actually are when you say it. No, buffoon is mean, man. Is it? Yes. It's mean, but it's funny, too. It's not that mean. It's funny because it's mean. What are we missing? What's a joke we're missing? Yeah, I feel like we, there was... We had tricky accidents. So, song of the day, that's what I was forgetting. Um... Clocks by Coldplay seems to be no, your suggestion. Gosh. No. <laughs> you can't say that on the podcast. Clock. Clock by Coldplay is okay, but... What's it's... the best song? Um, my favorite song is the song of the day today. Okay. The Legend of the Keeper. By... The Magic Sword. Or just, well, there's no D, it's just Magic Sword. All right. I have one last segment that I just came up with. Hold on. Um, I'll just... Uh... Okay. It's called Inoffensive Hot Takes. And my inoffensive hot take is that country music belongs in the toilet. No offense. No offense to whoever likes Willie that. Willie Nelson. No offense to Willie Nelson or... But uh, your music... Uh... But your music is garbage. It's garbage. Anyways, um, I had one last question. Yeah. And it's been on my mind. It's been bugging me a lot. Because mm. everyone has been saying I'm a racist. Is it okay to be racist? No, Kyle, I want to clarify. No, no, of course not. No. It's never okay to be racism. It's never it's, okay to be racism. It's never okay to be the concept of racism. That's all. Bye-bye. Transit talk over. Transit talk over.